friends, back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. Wanted to kind of get another one done. Uh, trying to do some catch-up here. Also, we're getting close. I'm going to try to get a date here soon uh, when I, I get a work schedule situation. Looking to see if we can do a live stream, at least for a half hour, and we'll do it that way. I'm also putting together some ideas about consulting and kind of helping people out that have questions and things like that. So we're going to put some ideas together with all that. Uh, once I get my technology and I've gotten the camera, i got some other things going on. So we're going to try to do maybe a different type of production as we go through as well. Anyway, thank you guys for great uh, comments, likes, subscriptions, donations. It is all greatly appreciated. I'm glad that people are getting something out of this. And uh, it's kind of why I did it in the first place. I want to continue kind of providing information. We have a great topic today. Interesting one from Harold. Let's do some shout outs here first before we do that. Uh, let's see. What do I got on my list? Um, Byron talking about Hitler. Now, interesting enough, you may and we have a lot of bad feelings about Hitler and all that kind of stuff. And we know we all know that situation. However, when you look at people. Uh, we don't always know what they're going to do with the energy, right? We don't always know. There's people like Napoleon, all these people you can look at in history that were uh, did some evil things. But they also retained that were able to use a lot of energy to do it. And so it shows you that with great power comes a great responsibility. We have to be able to use the energy in the right way. But Byron brings up a good point that a lot of these people who committed evil in the world throughout our history probably had a lot of retention because they had a lot of energy and a lot of testosterone and things to be able to do that. They just happened to use it, not in God's purpose, for but the evil one's purpose. And we have to make sure we're always on top of that. So good point. Um, Kareem, uh, day 65, congratulations. Rob, thank you for your comments. Uh, always appreciate it. Agun Gati, thank you. Three months. Congratulations. Keep going. Lewis, uh, Nola Boy 504, I get it, thank you, very good, excellent. Ty Mighty 323, Edward Lopez from Madrid, welcome Edward. Uh, stop edging, I agree with you, it's, it, you just have to kind of, it's a process, and we'll talk about this I think tomorrow in one of our presentations, but we're going to have to kind of look at, for those who are really struggling, take it one step at a time. And uh, part of that is edging, and it's part of the process that you probably have to go through. Salom, new subscriber, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations to me that you guys are subscribing. I uh, welcome you guys as subscribers. Thank you. Uh, Daryl Conop, thank you. Harold, I had some job offers this the last time when he was texting. Thank you very much. I, I think it's great. Um, it's wonderful to see that. Congratulations, Harold, that you got some job offers, and that's wonderful, too. Um, Sanayam, uh, vegetarian like brahmacharyas. You know, I, um, I, I like meat. That's one of my other types of, uh, I guess you could say it as a fault if you're vegetarian. I don't really, I, I like vegetables. I like and eat vegetables and I've done that before, but I like my protein and I like my meat, especially as I get older, protein to me is important. Um, so I don't always do vegetarian. I once in a while will do a meal or something like that, but most of the time I don't. Uh, but thank you for the question. Wayne Moore, thank you. Mark Anthony, like a celebrity, we'll do one on that one as well. And Lord Julius, uh, Christian Godpack, yeah, I like that a lot, Lord uh, Julius. Thank you. All right, so at four minutes here, let's talk about our topic. Our topic goes back to Harold. Harold said, greeting people with a nod instead of actually losing a lot of energy. This is a very interesting point Harold talks about. And I fully agree with a lot of things that he's talking about here. So let's talk about this concept. I like this a lot. So I'll bring in a lot of the communication things that I've been teaching at the uh, college, high school level for many, many years um, about communication. So let's talk about when you're interacting with people. We really haven't talked about this a lot. We talk about attraction. We talk about releasing all this other kind of stuff. But your retention plan makes you a lot more confident because you're a lot more confident you're able to interact with people and not be afraid to interact with people so you're not afraid to go up to people and start a conversation whether it's a, a woman a girl a guy whatever it might be 
So as you do that, you have to understand that you are showing all your aura, your energy. And people respond to that. Most people you run into will give you a smile. They will interact with you in a positive type of way. Now, what is important to understand here, and, and this especially is going back to women's attraction a little bit as well, is that you don't really want to waste a lot of your energy during this interaction. And yes, there is not only the physical release of energy, but it's also the emotional release of and, and the communication release you can do by interacting with people. So as you talk with people, you can expend energy listening to them, to be able to focus on them, to concentrate on them. Those things will take a lot of energy. And as you have a lot of energy, you might even be overloaded sometimes and you might start getting excited. You might start getting you know, upset, which happened to me once in, a, in the last week or so. And you got to try to remember you have abundance of energy here. So what Harold is talking about is basically saying that you should nod when you meet people. Don't use any energy if you don't have to. I totally agree with that. Now, I don't agree with that when it comes to exercising. Of course, you're using energy. You're trying to build muscles and things like that. Those things are different. But when talking with people, it is also good to have this kind of aura that you're quiet, but you're listening. There's a lot of great benefits. We're going to talk about this. So as you're talking to a person, this is how I bring the communication stuff into this. So as Harold's talking, talking to somebody, he's going to just nod. That person is going to talk. And they'll call, and you just may ask a question here and there. You may just say how you doing or clarify something. You're not using a lot of energy. You're also building a relationship with this person. It could be a business relationship. It could be a romantic relationship. But you're building it because now you're paying attention and you're listening to the person, especially if you use that eye contact. If you use that contact eye contact that's dominant. But it's also eye contact that is a soft eye contact. And what I mean by that is you're not threatening them. Your dominance, my friends, warriors, is not threatening. Let me, let me state that again. When you're dominating somebody in, a, in an eye contact, you're looking at them, but you have confidence. You're not trying to threaten them. That's when you have to back away. If you feel yourself doing that, back away, especially with a, another male, you may want to just kind of back away from that situation. But the eye contact comes into play where you show dominance and confidence and you attract that person. And like I said, this could be a business opportunity. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one. But then you're basically then just listening to the person. And as you listen to the person, now you're building a lot of good communication connections with that person. And that person's going to want to talk with you again because most people, who do they think about most of the day? They think about themselves. We all think about ourselves. 99% of the day. So if someone is paying attention to us, all of a sudden, now they become somebody who's important because they pay attention to us. And if they think we're important, well, obviously they can't be a bad person because I know I'm important. So that person likes me, listening to me. So they got to be important too. It's almost like the situation where you may run into somebody you knew years ago and you forgot their name and you all of a sudden run into them and all of a sudden you can't remember their name, but they remembered your name. They remember your name and all of a sudden now you feel kind of, well, I'm trying to figure out who this is. So you got to have small talk trying to figure this out. You may figure it out. You may not. But I guarantee you after that conversation is over, you're going to go back and try to figure out who this was. Because anybody that knows you after a period of time, they're gonna go want they're gonna want ahead, you're gonna want ahead and find out who this is. Because that person is showing you a lot of respect. They're showing you a lot of importance by recognizing and remembering who you are. And that's important because when it comes down to communications and making connections, if you feel respected, you're gonna give respect back. 
The same thing with women, the same thing with business opportunities. It doesn't want to matter what it is. And that communication becomes important. So by what Harold's talking about, nodding, listening, <clears throat> you become a great communicator and then you talk when you want to talk. I think that a lot of times when I consult and I talk with people and I counsel people, I just listen. And then I'll add a couple comments here and there. But most times what I see people doing is they try to talk over people, interrupt people, and they're wasting a lot of their energy. In fact, your overall goal is to try to understand this person and that by doing that, you have to listen to this person and you have to kind of really think about it. Now, listening is not easy. Listening takes time and it takes effort. But you could get drained, but you have to know the difference between listening long-term to somebody and basically kind of letting a person just vent out. And with that, you know it's not a personal type of thing and you don't need to give a response. A lot of times with men and women, that's especially true. A lot of women want to vent and a lot of men mistakenly think, well, I want to try to solve that problem for her and they really can't, that's not really the purpose. That's what happens a lot when you don't really understand women and you're communicating something that you're, you're trying to communicate a solution in which they already know how to, what the solution is. It's more of a case of them listening to you for support. And that's a key type of element when it comes to communication. So, for, so what Harold is saying for a lot of reasons, not only from the energy, saving energy, but really building communication with people building that trust, building the fact that you're, you're showing importance to that person makes you a valuable person. And that value can come really high, Warriors, when it comes to business opportunities, making money, and also romantic situations where it becomes really crucial for that person to feel like, well, you're, you're, you're listening to me, you're making me feel important. And so as we look at this, it takes energy to do everything, okay? So we're not saying that you're not going to be energy free of using energy. But the key is going to be to try to keep as much energy as you have during the day. This is why you don't get upset and angry at people. Try to do that at least as possible. It's one of my flaws that I, I'm getting better at, but I have a long way to go. Don't get upset with people. Don't get angry at people. Keep a calm demeanor and be able to kind of listen to people don't get too bent out of shape either way. And actually just kind of listen and keep that energy within you as best you can. So I think it's a great point Hero makes. So a shout out to you, Hero, on this one. I think it's important to recognize that energy is something that we want to keep inside of ourselves as long as we live. Now, we want to transmute it, of course, into a physical specimen that's going to be the masculine person you are, and I don't care if you're 62 like I am, or you're 40 or 30 or 20, be as strong as you can be. Like I said, I'm on a two and a half pack. I'm trying to get a six. We got some things going on. I'm trying to do things that are getting there. And even at my age, I might be able to get at least, at least a four pack. We'll see about that. But and I, I kind of jest a little bit, but that's really the goal that I have, a six pack. Now, those type of things don't come easy, as you guys know. But I do think that I have a lot more faith and hope because of the retention. Because when I've seen the retention, one of the benefits is that you keep your muscles in. And it, for whatever reason, you're basically kind of muscles have been shown. So for me, my stomach muscles have started showing with retention. And I think it's because of all the nutrients in my system that stayed in my system and not losing it. I wish I would have known this when I was 20 some years old. So you don't want to lose any energy, right? Throwing all your energy away just makes you weak. You're never going to get a six pack if you're, if you're releasing all the time. That I found out from lots of people. A lot of those people, they're keeping their energy. Now they may not say it. A lot of times we don't talk about this issue that much in public. Now we're talking about it now more because of all the images and all the things out there. But the idea that you really kind of want to focus on is keeping all your energy. So nodding to a person, talking, saying hi, those things keep the energy level inside of you as much as possible. So Harold, a great point, a great conversation starter with people, just nodding and that eye contact is all you need. Using the eye contact 
It's almost like this. You're talking to somebody. We'll, we'll use a woman example here. As you're talking to, you look across and you see a woman. You nod your head at the woman. The woman looks at you and you meet eye contact. Now, if you're afraid of eye contact and some of you guys are having trouble with this, look at the nose, look at the face, but look around the eyes. But if you can actually start having direct eye contact, now you make a connection. And that woman knows she can read what you're feeling. Women have been trained in this for since they've been 10, 11. And I know that because I've had daughters. And the daughters, I found this out when they were 10, 11 years old. They got trained in a lot of this noticing what a man is doing and what, what they're saying to you, whether it's eye contact, whether it's verbal, whatever it might be. So, knowing that, you know a connection. And if you're one of those few warrior individuals that can make eye contact, soft eye contact, not threatening, and we'll show you if you need to, you know, some examples that I can actually kind of go through a little bit with this. But showing that eye contact to people, all of a sudden now, there's a different type of viewpoint that person has. That conversation's already happened, even though you haven't said a word. That eye contact has said all those things you got to say. You have the connection bond. So now you go over there and just have a regular conversation because you've broken the ice with the eye contact and maybe a nod to add with it. And that's it. So Harold, you bring up a great point. Once again, the communication type of essence, not only from saving energy, but to communicating well as well. All right, so thank you, Harold. Thank you for everybody else. The shout outs, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I really greatly appreciate you guys contributing, helping out, and doing what we can to make this uh, information better for you guys so that you become those strong warriors that God wants you to become. All right, two things we always leave with. One, every day, like today, is a new day to a great warrior, and we always have to remember to battle!